Chag Sukkot Sameach. Happy Sukkot. Sukkot is the holiday where we build temporary structures outside in our backyards or somewhere in nature. And we remember the idea that the Israelites were living in temporary structures through all of their years in the desert and that God was always there protecting them. So we build our own temporary structures, inviting in guests to be able to celebrate during the Sacred Harvest Festival. Should we go to the sukkah? I think we should. This is not the right place. This is not the sukkah. Let's try that again. Here we are, back in the sukkah. So in the sukkah, there are many different mitzvahs we do, but most of them just have to do with being able to dwell and be and eat together in this sacred space. The sukkah is special because it's fragile. It's not made to last like a house or another structure. And because of that, we only spend a limited time in it. But when we do, we invite people that we know, that we love, and sometimes we even welcome strangers into the sukkah as well to join for a meal, for songs, something sweet, or just to celebrate and enjoy the stars or the day. One of the beautiful rituals that we do has to do with the fact that this is a harvest festival and it's called shaking the lulav and the etrog. This is the etrog or sometimes people call it a citron. It looks like a lemon but it's much bigger and bumpier and can actually be quite valuable. This at the end, the pitom, is the stem and it cannot be broken if you're going to use it in the ritual. This is called the lulav, and the lulav and etrog go together. They're part of something called the four species, or the arba minim. The lulav contains a bouquet of three different tree branches, the willow branch, the myrtle branch, and also the branch of the palm. The palm branch represents the spine and standing upright. The willow represents the lips and your speech, and the myrtle represents the eyes and the things that you see. The hope is, when you combine these things and say a blessing over them, that your eyes, the things you see, the lips, the things that you say, that your spine and your heart will be upright and ready for all the things to come in the year. So you shake the lulav and the etrog together in six different directions. Towards the earth, towards the sky, in front of you, behind you, towards your left, and towards your right. We say this blessing. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Halam, Asher Kiddushanu B'mitzvotav V'tivanu Al Netilat Lulav. Blessed is God who has commanded us to fulfill this ritual of raising up the Lulav and the Etrog and remembering this day. For more information, visit our website.